Months ago, when the internet found out that Barbie and Oppenheimer, two completely different movies made for completely different audiences, were releasing on the same exact day, they started joking around about it, and the Barbenheimer meme was born. And since then, we've had so many different mashups, so many different people saying either they're going to go see them both, all these jokes about it, it's taken off. Now, I don't think anybody expected them to be the massive box office successes that they already are, with Barbie looking to be the biggest box office hit of the year, and Oppenheimer breaking records for a rated R movie. But despite the massive global success, it looks like there are some people that are very, very upset. They have been upset about Oppenheimer, and now they're pissed about Barbie too, and that would be apparently the entire country of Japan. Barbenheimer memes provoke angry backlash in Japan. Now, this is something that's been going on for months and months and months. Obviously, we've been talking about this, but it wasn't until the official Barbie account replied to a Barbenheimer meme that apparently some people in Japan just got so upset. Warner Brothers Japan apologizes after the US Twitter account for the movie promotes posts that appears to make light of the atomic bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. It's This is a fucking meme. And for anybody that actually watched Oppenheimer, you'll realize they don't really make light of this. Uh, it's very much, it's not about the bombs, it's not about that stuff happening, but they do show the mental anguish that Oppenheimer was going through thinking of what his invention was doing to so many people in Japan. But it all started uh, with this post over here. I actually talked about this a couple days ago before we had this like big thing start to blow up. Barbie might have got into trouble in Japan after official Barbie US social media reacted to and interacted with a Barbenheimer meme on Twitter. Outrage took over social media in Japan and ha it was like hashtag no Barbenheimer or something was trending in Japan at the time. This is the meme in question, Barbenheimer poster art and the Barbie movie replies, it's gonna be a summer to remember. That's it. That's that's all that it was. That actually got community noted for some reason to be like, if you didn't know, uh, Oppenheimer created the atomic bomb. The atomic bomb was used for this, 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 and this. I get it, and I understand to some extent why Oppenheimer isn't getting released in Japan, all of this stuff. To be honest with you, the fact that they're that upset over someone replying to a fucking meme about a, this fictional movie in Barbie, this fictional girl's brand, it's a fucking joke. And the fact that they've come out and they've done this big apology for it is wild to me, but maybe that's what they needed to do to keep their Japan release date. When it's all said and done, let's be real, the global performance of Barbie is next level. It had another incredible second Monday, the best second Monday that we've ever seen outside of a holiday. And even though the International has an updated for Monday, it is over $800 million now worldwide, will be over a billion dollars by next weekend. Barbie's continuing to crush it. But there's one big, you know, pretty big place it hasn't released yet, and that's Japan. It's originally slated for an August 11th release date in Japan, and Warner Brothers was probably worried that this might affect that, so they had to put out this big apology. That didn't sit well with folks in Warner Brothers' Japanese arm. The official Japanese Barbie Twitter account blasted its parent company for co-signing about joking of the atomic bomb. It wrote, We consider it extremely regrettable the official account of the American headquarters for the movie Barbie reacted to social media postings of Barbenheimer fans. We take this very seriously. We're asking the U.S. headquarters to take appropriate action. We apologize to those who are offended by this series of inconsiderate reactions, Warner Brothers Japan. And official Warner Brothers did say, hey, we apologize if you are offended by this. We offer a sincere apology. This seems wild to me. Now, obviously, I'm not Japanese. I have no idea how people are feeling about that 80 years after the fact. But I do know that some people in Japan have tried to stick it to Americans by making memes about 9-11 related to Barbie. Let's just say that hasn't gone over super well. Just take a look at this. Shuan had tweeted this out. Apparently, Japanese Twitter is trying to do a how do you like it, Ari Oppenheimer memes, but I don't think they understand American humor very well. Uh, here it is. It's what do you think of this? What are you doing is the same as this shame on you only in cinema's summer of 2023 everyone's kind of laughing at it including americans so i think that the people that are that upset about barbie replying to a fucking meme that's being used as a marketing tool now i think they're a little bit too sensitive the fact that they had to roll out this big apology is wild to me but at the end of the day it's not going to affect oppenheimer oppenheimer doesn't have a release in japan obviously and even if it even if it gets shut down in japan it's not going to matter for barbie both of these are massive global hits both are already making money for their respective studios and 
nothing, especially not a little bit of outrage from Japan is going to stop them. What do you guys think of this? Do you think it was insensitive? Do you think it needed an apology? Let me know in the comments section below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.